work-life balance is something I've been thinking about a lot lately. If it's truly a thing, I've been leaning heavily into the life part of it, hence the radio silence on my channel the past few weeks. I'm sorry. But the more I've been asked about the concept of balance and the more I thought about it myself, the more I started asking myself, will we ever find the balance we seek? And what if we've been looking at work-life balance all wrong? This will be what we're exploring today, featuring a very eventful week in my life, starting in New York City, stopping by my home for a few days, and flying back to my motherland for the first time in years. Thank you so much to Remarkable for sponsoring this video. More on this in a little. Hello friends. Hello sweetest potatoes. I'm about to head out to Pilates class, my favorite workout class. I'm very excited. I don't usually do these things, but I started doing this this past month and it's been great. Saturdays, as you guys know, are for row days. It's been nice having something to force me to wake up in the morning. Let's go. Let's start breaking down work-life balance as I make my way over to work out, shall we? According to the dictionary, work-life balance means the amount of time you spend doing your job compared with the amount of time you spend with your family and doing things you enjoy. It's essentially a trade-off between your priorities and this is where the cookie crumbles for me. When we fall into the mentality of constantly choosing between one thing or the other, we're guilty when we're working and we're just as guilty when we're not working. I think we've all experienced this scenario where we're trying to have a good time with our friends after a long day only to be mentally hung up on our endless to-dos in the back of our minds. For me, it's being out at dinner with my parents while feeling guilty for not spending that time editing my next video. Constantly operating out of guilt is not a healthy place to be. For me, it has showed up in my life as soul-crushing anxiety, stress, isolation, not being able to be fully present, and even burnout. After looking to find the perfect balance over the past few years, I'm starting to believe that maybe, just maybe, this equilibrium between work and life is indeed elusive and impossible to reach. So if work-life balance isn't it, are there any other alternatives? What I found to be far more attainable, flexible, and realistic is work-life harmony. It's like that saying, you can't have it all at once, but you can probably have most of it over time. As we've talked a lot about over the past few years, it's important to embrace the seasons of life and that there's a time and place for everything. Even if I can still hustle and grind like I used to, as I enter my 30s, I no longer want to. That being said, just because I no longer wish to dedicate my existence to my work, even if it may be for a greater good, I still enjoy doing good work. No great work. I've been spending more and more time on exciting projects that I can't wait to share with you all. I've also been posting more on Instagram and asking for feedback there on said exciting projects. This is why work-life harmony speaks so much to me. It doesn't mean you need to stop doing one thing to be successful at the other. It's about allowing yourself to focus on a few things and doing it well while accepting the fact that everything else will probably be neglected temporarily, but that's okay and that it's not gonna be the end of the world. One of the ways I've been able to stay focused, think better, and dream bigger is with the Remarkable 2 paper tablet, which is what I'm using here. As someone who thoroughly enjoyed bullet journaling primarily because I enjoy writing with pen and paper, writing on the Remarkable 2 literally feels like you're writing on paper. I've always believed that paper is the ultimate tool for thinking and love a good sticky note or napkin brainstorming sesh because paper of any kind really just lets our brains roam freely without restrictions and it lets us focus without distractions. But what if paper were given digital powers? Remarkable's a firm believer that in order for a brain to do its best work, it needs the freedom from being interrupted. And this, we're a thousand percent aligned on. You can take notes, read, and review documents without the presence of pop-up social media or notifications. Here, we're planning out our team schedule while I'll be in Asia and also planning out content for the month. There are many templates to choose from, including blank, dotted, or aligned pages, to checklists, weekly calendars, and storyboarding. With the Remarkable 2, I find myself being less distracted and more focused, spending less time formatting documents and more time sketching freely. All my notes are organized neatly in folders and accessible across all my devices. It's easy to travel with, perfect for on the go, and has a two-week battery life. If you're interested in trying out the Remarkable 2 paper tablet, check out the link in my description box.
So now that we're aware of work-life harmony, how do we actually apply it into our lives? Let's first do some light cleaning and finish packing before we travel across the coast. Thank goodness I started both a few days ago because I just physically and mentally can't handle rushing to pack and rushing to get to the airport and just being a super tense ball of stress. <sighs> All packed and ready to go. This is the first time I wasn't rushing and packing and waiting until the last minute. Proud of myself. Work-life harmony. So how do we go about integrating work-life harmony into our lives? The first, as always, is to be present enough so that we can ask ourselves the important questions. According to Stuart Friedman, he is a UPenn Wharton professor, the starting point to living a richer life is to rethink how we define success. If our self-worth revolves around the status, paycheck, and prestige associated with our work, we're headed for trouble. A richer life also takes into account the quality of our relationships, our engagement in the community, and our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Whether it's defining what success means to us or being clear on our priorities, this will help give us a blueprint for what we should focus on during this particular season in our lives. In my early 20s, between family, friendship, work, physical, and mental health, my priority was work because it was the only value that I felt like I've been slacking on. Fast forward a few years to my mid-20s when I reconnected with my spirituality, my priorities became spirituality, work, and family in that order. These days, being in my late 20s and now the beginning of my 30s, my actions show that my priorities are my spirituality, relationships, and personal well-being. Amazing for my mental health, but not the best for making videos, but I promise I have some very exciting videos coming up. In any case, all of that was just to illustrate that when our priorities are clear, knowing that they can and will change, it helps alleviate that feeling of guilt when we're spending more time in one area of our life because it's something we proactively chose for ourselves. Once our priorities are clear, the next step is to focus on the task at hand. When we're at work, work deeply. When we're playing or resting, play and rest deeply. If you guys are interested in the concept of deep work and deep rest, I'll link a video here and down below for ya. It sounds simple, yes, but it truly is simple. We as human beings, I really just think we overcomplicate a lot of things in our pretty little big heads. Just putting into practice these three steps of being present, setting priorities, and staying focused at the task at hand, be it work, play, rest, spending time with loved ones, or anything has been immensely rewarding. And this is something worth frequently revisiting. Since the previous day was spent on frolicking, team meetings, and traveling, I dedicated my first day home in Los Angeles to a day of working deeply. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Looking for affirmation. You're doing great. Yesterday, we got some deep work in. Today, I am going to have a very unrowena like day where I'll be out for the whole day, catching up with friends, going to an event, running some errands with jams. Um, let's just see. Uh, this is just a. This is just a work-life harmony, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. All right, first stop is catching up with Remy at Veggie Kins. Matcha Queen. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't spill. Uh -huh. Looks good.
anxious. <laughs> To see work-life harmony in practice, here's a little snapshot for the weekend. I spent Friday morning on work calls and took the afternoon to explore. It's been a long time since I've thrifted, let alone thrifting in LA, so I took myself to three different stores spread across town, and although I was disappointed in the selection, hence I took zero footage and I actually enjoyed spending more time at the bookstore I chanced upon next door while waiting for my Uber, this is actually why I love thrifting. If I didn't go out and look, I never would have known whether they had a good selection or not. And it's very symbolic of life too. You'll never know if you never try. I spent the whole weekend offline, something you'd hardly ever find me doing pre-2022. I attended a friend's wedding with jams and spent my last evening hosting a barbecue with my cousins, doing what we love, spending quality time, catching up and conversing. Oh, I'm just filming, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's very good footage. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For any of you guys who are currently feeling stressed, overwhelmed, or just worried that you're not getting everything in life you want done, trust me, I've been there, I'm still there sometimes. It can and will get better, and it is within our power to really shift our mentality from balance to harmony, which I think it's so much more fluid and ever-changing, and it's kind of like yin and yang, and you can have one without the other, and it just beautifully works in harmony to allow us, I'm losing my voice, to allow us to exist in peace and coexistence with all the things that are most important to us. And with that, thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been such a long time. I've honestly missed creating videos and I missed <laughs> you guys and I really am excited for the content to come. Yes, I'll see you guys hopefully next week for another video that'll feature my first week out and about in Taipei and I'm gonna be dropping some wisdom like even for me I'm like mind blown about this topic that I'm gonna talk about next week okay and with that goodbye boys hugs <coughs>